It is finally time for me to talk about how I have my binder set up for my first semester of nursing school. So if you're curious to see how I have these organized, please keep on watching. So full disclosure, the idea for this binder setup is from Nurse Mo. She's the owner of Straight A Nursing. She also has this book that you can pick up on Amazon. It's not a big book. It's a really easy read, but it is packed full of great information, especially if you are just about to start nursing school. And she talks about this binder setup in detail. So I would highly recommend checking this out. Um, she talks about like how to prepare for nursing school, ways to get through nursing school in one piece with your sanity intact. It's a really, really good book with tons of great information. So as far as the binder setup goes, there are two two inch binders and then one four inch binder. You could do like four or five inch, but you want it to be a pretty large size binder. For um, my particular ones, these are um, Better Binders by Staples. That's what they're called, the Better Binder. And they are from the line called Pep Rally. That's where the pastel pink and purple are from. And I will say, I haven't used these very much, but I feel like they're going to last me for a really long time because this, this part of the binder is like reinforced with a thicker plastic and I don't know it's not like your usual like cardboard it is plastic and I feel like it's really durable so anyway so these are two inch binders and then this one is a four inch binder now I already had this one and um it's not as cute as my other two obviously however um those are pretty expensive so I'm working with what I have I already had that one um, so whatever it's, it, it's not matchy matchy, but it's going to work. So the way it's organized is I have a daily binder, a clinical binder, and what's referred to as the mega binder. Now the way it works is my daily binder has my classes in it. This first semester, I'm only taking foundations and skills and then obviously clinical. But as far as the classes that I'm going to be taking at the school, I'm just taking foundations and skills. So inside this binder, obviously, it has tabs. Now these tabs, if you try to write on them with ink pen, it's just going to smear. So um, for this one, I just used a sticky note and I wrote lecture and lab. <laughs> but on my um, clinical binder, I wrote with permanent marker. But yeah, just using pen was not working. But the idea is that this daily binder is what you're going to be taking to school with you whenever you're going to the school. And the only thing that's gonna be in here are your notes for that particular unit. And as you finish a unit, all of your notes, all of your study guides and everything, you're gonna take out of the daily binder, don't mind my Halloween robe, <laughs> you're gonna put it in your mega binder. The whole idea here is so that first and foremost, you're not always carrying with you notes from a previous unit. The only thing that should be in this binder at a given time is notes for the unit you're currently working on. And as you take the exam for each unit, you're gonna transfer those notes from here and put them into here so that by the time you study for finals, everything's already organized, all of your notes are in one place, and since you're transferring them as you go, then your notes in the mega binder are already going to be organized by unit. So I have lecture and lab. Obviously, I have page dividers, but I mean, I don't really think I'm gonna be utilizing these since I'm only taking two classes, but you get the idea. Mega binder stays at home. I just don't wanna to have to lug all of those notes around with me in my backpack every single time I go to class. So that is the whole purpose of this binder right here, to keep all of my previous units organized in one place. I do wanna mention that I did make this binder cover myself. I made it on Canva. Um, Canva is just a site that you can use to make graphics and a whole bunch of other things and I did use it to make this particular binder cover and I think it's super cute. All right, now let's talk about my clinical binder. Everything for my clinical 
will stay in this binder. I don't intend on really moving anything into the mega binder until like the end of the semester and I start a new clinical. Does that make sense? So I really don't plan on transferring papers in and out of here for at least the entire semester. That's kind of the plan right now, but if that changes, I can obviously update you guys with what I decide to do. The way this binder is organized is just with my different tabs up here. Again, these tab titles are suggested by Straight A Nursing, so that's just what I went with. So we have um, care plans, clinical paperwork, projects, and miscellaneous. If I need to add more tab, um, ideas, you know, I can put them right here, but I really think that's going to cover the majority of my clinical paperwork and I can just put it in here as I get it. But yeah, that is how I plan on keeping myself organized throughout this first semester. Now, if changes come up and I need to do some revisions or something like that for the following semester, or if I really find that this is just not working for me and I have to, you know, change what I'm doing, I will definitely give you guys an update. But, you know, I think for now, I really have a good feeling about this setup. I think it's going to be really helpful. And um, I've taken a peek at the schedule for skills and it is already a little bit overwhelming to see all the things that we're going to have to do. But I'm really excited about finally getting started. I feel like I've done so much prep um, and I'm, I'm just ready to get the ball rolling and, and start getting in those classrooms and doing hands-on stuff. But that is what I have for you guys today. I hope that you found this video helpful or that you were able to get some ideas if you wanted to kind of change your organization setup or you're just getting ideas for whenever you do start. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.